Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel at LLB Society. This is Hariri, the creator of LLB Society, and this time I'm going to narrate a short fairy tale to you under the title of um, The Wolf in Sheep's Clothing. This is the fo a cover photo or a featured image. The story is from Aesop's Table by acknowledging the source and uh, the text has been adopted from Gutenberg Project at Gutenberg.org and this falls into the category of public domain. It means everybody can use the text. And now the story. A certain wolf could not get enough to eat because of the watchfulness of the shepherds. So the wolf was afraid of the shepherd who was shepherds who were attentive, vigilant, and he, he couldn't access the sheep. But one night he found a sheepskin that had been cast away and forgotten. So, but accidentally he just ran into a sheepskin and he thought that it would be a good uh, tool or instrument to hide his identity and actually blend in with the other sheep without being noticed or detected. Watchfulness means alertness, attention. Cast aside means put aside and get rid of. The next day, dressed in the skin, the wolf strolled into the pasture with the sheep. So, later in that day, he just put on the skin and uh, covered himself uh, and the wolf stroll means walk slowly and unhurriedly into the pasture or uh, grazing land with the sheep. Soon a little lamb was following him about and was quickly led away to slaughter. And uh, one of the lambs offspring of sheep uh, was deceived and uh, the lamb followed the wolf and unfortunately uh, the lamb was eaten here according to the text it is implied because it says that the lamb was quickly led away or misled to slaughter a place or actually butchery or killing so stroll means walk unhurriedly wander saunter pasture Land for, land for grazing, meadow, slaughter, killing, murder, butchery. That evening, the wolf entered the fold with the flock. Uh, the wolf entered the fold. Fold is a place, indoor place to keep cattle with the flock or herd of uh, cattle or sheep here in this context. But it happened that the shepherd took a fancy for uh, mutton, mutton. Mutton is the uh, meat of sheep, mutton. So uh, it happened that the shepherd took a fancy for mutton. So uh, he wanted to indulge himself, I mean the shepherd. and. Uh, he decided to just uh, that night uh, have a mutton broth. It's a kind of soup in which there is uh, generally meat. And here, mutton. Mutton, the meat of sheep. So he wanted to have a, a feast on the uh, mutton or meat of sheep uh, that very evening and picking up a knife went to the fold so the shepherd wanted to make a broth from the uh, mutton or meat of sheep and therefore he just took a knife and went to the fold fold a small indoor place to keep cattle flock group of sheep mutton meat of sheep there the first he laid hands on and killed was the very wolf. So, because the, wo the wolf was 
uh, larger and bigger than the other sheep and also he was not di uh, let's say differentiated or distinguished from the rest and he was the victim uh, in that place victim of the uh, shepherd so related idiom or proverb the evil doer often comes to harm through his own deceit and these are some actually this is the uh, central message of this uh, short fairy tale and uh, this lesson falls into the category of reading practice in English and some keywords or tags Aesop's fables if you just click on any of them you will find related lessons deceit English fairy tale English for young learners evil flock guys and machination means trickery and shepherd and trick and some related lessons on the topic you know the the, the uh, relevancy of the uh, related lessons is based on thematic or theme or topic bilk a GRE vocabulary flashcard it means to deceive someone and uh, take away their money I mean particularly it falls into the category of finances bilk and uh, bevy a group of women or girls one of the GRE vocabulary flashcards because actually the word flock has been used here and uh, stratagem it means a strategy to do something uh, yeah and to deceive people perhaps yeah and as usual at the end of each post or lesson there is a common form to use so we can just uh, communicate with the teacher okay I hope you have found this lesson useful. Thank you very much for your attention. Take care and bye-bye.